and uh, they picked me up at Peterborough Station and brought me home. And when I got home, <laughs> I laughed because it got decorations up and uh, a notice on the top, welcome home, Cliff. <laughs> it was lovely. And I, I was kissing the neighbours, <laughs> even the men. I was that like, happy to be home, yeah. And my poor old mother, she did work death about me. Yeah, but it was nice to be home. Nice to be home. And then I'd got to find a job uh, because there weren't many jobs about when we when we came home. But uh, my sister's husband worked on the railway, and he said, "Why don't you come and work with me on the railway?" <laughs> I said, "Comical, don't it? Because we already built a railway for the Japanese, and uh, I worked there for." Four years, I think it was. And then I went into the building trade. That's to go in on the railway yeah, to work Yeah, that's what I said. After it was... Yeah, uh, but it was a, a different situation. It wasn't like the railway I no. worked on before. <laughs> and they didn't beat me with rifle butts and <laughs> bamboo poles. Oh, look at that little <laughs> girl here. Yeah. That little girl in Burma. I do have bad, I did have bad dreams, but I wouldn't call them nightmares, and uh, I don't get them now anyway. But they used to be pretty bad because I, I'd only got to see a Japanese in my dreams, and it was really nerve wracking, really. But uh, not now, not now. That's a long time ago, isn't it? Oh, it's only 70 years. Only? That's a lifetime <laughs> with a, a lot of people, that is. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there's some things you never forget, isn't there? Yeah.